Good morning, family. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to a brand new day. Welcome to new mercies. Amen. Welcome to new opportunities, new open doors, new visions, new dreams, new businesses being birthed, new books being written. God bless you. Welcome, welcome. Prophetess Carlos, God bless you. Prophetess Allison. Brooks says she got us us suddenly. Amen. 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 I really began to just um, praise God, not only for the suddenlies that we've been experiencing, but for those testimonies of suddenlies um, all around the world. Just want to uh, encourage you and to know that, um, you know, you, you've inspired um, us as well as others. Thank you for trusting God, even against hope. Amen. Even against hope being able to stand, knowing that God is faithful, that promised. Amen. Geraldine Clinton, thank you so much for coming on. Kelly Munger, thank you so very much. Thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you for inviting your followers, and thank you for sharing on Twitter as well as Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you. Blessings. Erica Shirley, God bless you. Yes, suddenly, suddenly. Mika Fulford, God bless you. Diana Harrison, bless you. Thank you so much for your continued support. We love you guys. Yes, thank you. Yes. Mm. Praise God. Amen. If God spoke it, it is certainly coming to pass. I, I think I posted today about um, being able to walk in the, the, the promises of God. That, you know, as God told, um, spoke to my husband that this is the year of prophetic fulfillment, wow. that God was fulfilling his word. And I'm, we are here to, this morning to tell you that things that God spoke through prophetic voices um, three, four, five years ago, we're seeing the manifestation of it in our own personal life, our own personal ministry, um, in our church, in people's lives around us. When the word of God goes forth, it cannot, will not, and shall not return back to him without accomplishing the very thing it was sent to. Amen? Amen. You will know where the word is sent to. You will know that place where the word of God has been sent to. Hallelujah. Well, everybody do something for me where you guys share. And uh, I know many people didn't know we were even coming (laughs) on. But um, we did want to come on. We had some more help come tonight. Um, I will give you all a testimony in a few days. Amen. But uh, thank you so much for sharing. Oh, man, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. Wow. Yeah. Somebody said, I was up and surprised. (laughs) Amen. Good morning. I want to read a scripture to you. You guys are probably very familiar with it. Thank you again for sharing. It's amazing. Good evening. Me, Mom, and Sister about to listen while I drive. Wow. I love you, too. (laughs) Prophet Michelle J. Miller, our family. So if we said this was a year of prophetic fulfillment, I'm looking at a scripture, Acts chapter 2, and in Acts chapter 2, verse number 1, it says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place, and the Bible says, suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared under them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And so what I began to look at uh, with this text of scripture is that Acts chapter 2 is the day of fulfillment for those who are expecting the manifestation of the Spirit of the Lord. So just as they received what they were looking for, and today, of course, starts Pentecost Sunday. It's the day, it's 50 days after, uh, of course, uh, the, the crucifixion, uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so they were in expectation of receiving the spirit as they were in the upper room. They were on one accord. They were pot- positioned and postured to be able to receive the manifestation of the things that they were praying for. And so as we as we looked at this, 
the day of Pentecost was a day, I, we, I went to a movie tonight, we're going to pray in just a second, but we went to see this movie tonight, and so I don't know if any of you have gone to see Wonder Woman, but as I thought about that, it, she was looking for this, uh, this, this, this weapon, and she didn't realize that she was the weapon. Right. And so the reason why we are given the Holy Spirit is not just so that we can uh, just so that we can manifest the tongues, but so that we can be weapons of mass destruction in the kingdom of God. Right. Amen. For the kingdom of God to be able to, to throw back the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Right. Right. And so when I looked at that, of course, you know, prophets and prophetic people and apostles, we, we get something out of, you know, it's just, it's just <laughs> always we get something out of it. But when I began to look at that, she became a weapon of mass destruction against the enemy every time she went to go fight the enemy. So that's my our prayer tonight yes. is that we are going to be weapons of mass destruction, that you would not just let this be another observance of, uh, of a Pentecost Sunday, that it would not just be another mem Memorial Day, but that you would take and become the empowerment and the, uh, yes, you are a weapon, amen, of mass destruction, amen, in the in the kingdom for the, for the kingdom of darkness, amen. And uh, somebody said a, a weapon of mass uh, production for the kingdom of God. That's why we're right. empowered with the Holy Spirit, Absolutely. so that Absolutely. we can go forth and be everything yes. that God intended for us to be. We could be powerful. We could be strong. We could be mighty, amen. Mm -hmm. We could be a weapon that that that's to be uh, that's to be uh, what's the word I'm looking at uh, to be reckoned with, amen. We you are anointed by God with His Spirit, so that when you have the Spirit. Spirit of God is not again just so that we can speak in tongues, not just so uh, that we can have the Spirit or the power, but the reason why we've been empowered with it is so that we can go forth and destroy the works of darkness that are in the earth, that we can go forth and pray for people, that we can go forth with the anointing of God, that we can come forth, amen, that we can move by the power of God to see lives change, amen, that when we go into a place that healing takes place, the deliverance takes place, that we're able to see prophetically uh, the stuff that's going on. Amen. That the stuff that people are getting ready to do, so that before they can do it, before they can think it, God shows us, shows it to us, and we become a, a secret weapon. Amen. In the arsenal of God, we become that weapon of mass destruction. So tonight we're going to pray. Did you guys have anything on your heart before we pray? Anything? My wife's just smiling. She just looks cute. Anybody? I, 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 go ahead. Oh. One of the things that I was just thinking, even that, that should be our heart because that's why Jesus Christ came, mm -hmm. that he would destroy the works of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And so we as Christians, as followers of Christ, and because we know that we are in Christ, because we've been crucified with Christ, of course, buried with Christ, risen with Christ, and now we reign with Christ. And so the very thing that Christ was concerned about, we should be concerned about. The very things that, that God loves is the things that we should love. The things that he hates is the things that we should hate. The things that Jesus Christ came to destroy is the very things that we ourselves should come and destroy, which is the works of darkness, the works of the enemy, how he comes in to kill, to, to, kill, to steal, and to destroy. When we see people in pain, when we didn't see them sick, when we see them, you know, unsaved, that should bother us. And so we have to go in. We have to uh, say, God, here am I. Send me. I will go. I will be your voice. I will be an agent of change. I will be your son and your daughter. I will be the light. I will be the salt in the earth. And so God is looking for those that say, God, um, you can use me. You can use my testimony. You can use my failures. And you can also use my successes. And so this is the hour and the season that God is saying, I'm giving you a voice and I'm calling you forth. I'm manifesting myself in your life. And many things that you've been waiting on, God said, you are the answer. You are the answer to even your questions. You are the answer to what the world is looking for. You are the answer. And God is saying, it is the time and the season to come forth. It is your suddenly right now. And so many times we think it's going to come um, through something magical. It's going to come from the sky. No, it's going to come as you go. It's going to come as you say yes to God. When you open up your mouth, the miracle that you've been waiting on is going to come through you. It's going to come through you and you're going to see the manifestation of God's word come to pass because it's time to arise. It's time to go forth. It's time to cry out. This is the reason for the midnight cry. It's not because we didn't have anything else to do, but it's because God is saying it's time to cry out. I want my people to cry out against injustice. I want my people to cry out against sin. I want my people to cry out against wickedness. And so um, this is this is why we have come. Amen. This is why the Holy Spirit manifests. And as we look at the gift,
gifts. This is the reason why God is calling us. Amen. So many times um, we know that God has put things in us, but we feel inadequate to be used. We're talking about ma ma uh, weapons of mass destruction. But as I was driving, God brought it back to my remembrance, and I looked in the side mirror. And in that side mirror has objects are closer than they appear. Mm -hmm. We look outside for other people. We look outside for the resources. And God is saying, it's in you. Right. It's closer than it appears because it's in you. And I want to activate it in you. Mm. Jesus. And we have to, in our suddenly season, we cannot uh, believe the lie that we are unworthy to be used or inadequate or don't have the, the resources or the ability. All we need is the faith to step out there. Yes. So I just want to um, come against the spirit of unworthiness to be used as a weapon. That's good. Um, even your past that reminds you of why you shouldn't be used right now. But when we talk about suddenly it's without notice. I don't have to talk about I don't have to include you in it, God saying, I'm going to do it right now <laughs> just because I'm God. And he's calling you because it's closer than it appears. It's within you. So I'm going to stretch you. I'm going to pull it out of you. I'm going to call people to make you feel un uncomfortable so I can show you it's there. I'm going to call some people to walk away. People that you use as crutches not to do what God said do. Mm, that's good. I'm going to cause some relationships to break so that you'll be able to uh, look in the mirror and see me. I was there the whole time. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to cause things to happen so that uh, I can be exposed. When you use your mama, I used to live uh, my relationship with God through my mom. Mm -hmm. then, it, uh, then a situation happened to where her health caused her not to be there and I had to learn how to pray on my own. I'm going to call some people to walk away so that you'll know that it's in you, that you'll have a real experience. This time, you can't testify through somebody else's experience. Mm, You're going to feel it. You're going to know it so that when you go out and you be used in your Sunday season, that you can testify and say it was nobody but God this time. Mm. Right. That's good. Wow. I said that was the study tonight. Amen. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, when we look at the phrase weapon of mass destruction, mm. when we look at that middle word mass, meaning many, uh, we serve a God who is exponential in multiplication. But for too long, we have been operating on the addition and multiplication level when he wants to expand us to the exponential level. Mm -hmm. So in this season, may your fruit be exponential. Mm -hmm. Be a weapon of mass destruction. Not little destruction, but mass mm -hmm. destruction. Yes. To work at your full potential. Whole city. God is raising <laughs> us to work to our full potential. That's good. Father, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you, God, that you've loved us enough, God, to send your son. We thank you that you've adopted us. And God, you didn't just adopt us, God, just to be a part of just something, but you brought us, God, all together to be a part of something great. You called us, you set us apart, you sanctified us, you glorified us. And so, God, we thank you that you have called us a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. We are a holy nation. You've called us a tree of righteousness. You've called us the apples of your eyes. You've called us, Father God, your sons and your daughters to go forth and do great things. You've empowered us with your spirit. And so we thank you, Holy Spirit, for who you are. We thank you for everything that you represent in our life as being our comforter, as being our dunamis power, that power that is over all power of the enemy, that power that allows us to, to go forth, that power that allows us to tear down, to pull down, to destroy, to build, and to plant in the name of Jesus. So we come to tear down, oh God, the, the, 
the, the, the kingdom of darkness. We come to yes. overthrow any attack of the enemy. We come even now, oh God, to, to, to destroy the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus, to decree and declare that no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. And every tongue that is risen up against us in judgment, we condemn it now in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, we thank you, knowing that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through you, God, through the pulling down of strongholds. So we pull down everything that would try to exalt itself against your knowledge in our life in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every spirit that opposes the spirit of God in the name of Jesus, we declare you are null and void. You have no effect in our life and those that are around us in the name of Jesus. We stand guard. Even now we guard and protect, oh God, the things that you have placed us a steward over. In the name of Jesus, we guard and protect our families. We guard and protect our ministries. We guard and protect the churches, the apostolic graces, the prophetic voices. We guard and protect those things in the name of Jesus. We stand glory to God in faith. We stand without wavering. We stand, Father God, in the power and the authority that you have given us, knowing that you are greater that's on the inside of us than anything that could ever come against us. God, we don't walk in fear, but we walk by faith and we see the things that you see, God. We love the things that you love and we hate the things that you hate in the name of Jesus. We will not compromise this gospel, but we, God, we will be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in your work, knowing that our labor, our giving, our serving is not in vain. So God, even now we use a, a, the, our worship as a weapon. We use our praise as a weapon in the name of Jesus, a weapon against the forces of evil, the weapons against the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. We put on the whole armor that we're able to stand against the wiles, the plots, plans, and schemes of the enemy. We loin about our uh, 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 loins about with truth in the name of Jesus. We seek truth with all men, holiness without. No man shall see the Lord. We know, Father God, that is the truth that makes us free and that the level of truth that we receive is the level of truth that we walk in in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for the breastplate of righteousness. We thank you that because of the blood of Jesus Christ that we have been made righteous, that we are able to come boldly before the throne of God to obtain mercy and find grace to help in the very time of need. We thank you for the helmet of salvation that we're saved from sin. We're saved glory to God from the penalty of sin. We thank you, Father God, that our mind, oh God, is in subjection with you, that you are keeping us in the name of Jesus in perfect peace because our mind is stayed upon you. We thank you that our feet are shod with the gospel, with the, oh God, with truth and with peace in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are our peace today. We live in peace. We walk in peace. We move in peace because you are our perfect peace where there's nothing missing. <coughs> glory to God and nothing broken in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the for the oh God, the shield of faith, where we'll be able to quench all the fiery darts yes, of the enemy yes. in the name of Jesus. When the enemy comes in like a flood, we thank you that faith, faith raises up, faith in you, faith in your word, faith in the anointing, faith in the blood of Jesus, faith in the word of God. We thank you, Father God, even as we have described, Father God, our defensive armor. Yes. We thank you for the offensive armor which is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Your word is a lamp unto our feet. Your word is a light unto our path. Your word is our daily bread. Your word is our living water. It is your word that you sent to us and healed us. It is your word, Father God, that confuses the enemy. It is your word, Father God, that we stand on when we've done all to stand. We stand therefore on your word in the name of Jesus. We fight the enemy with your word. We decree and declare unto him that he is a defense defeated foe in the name of Jesus. We submit ourselves to you, Father. We resist the enemy and he has to flee in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for we are your weapons and we shall be used. Yes. There will be no malfunction in the name of Jesus in this season. You will operate in integrity. You will operate when God pulls a trigger. You will hit the bullseye. You will hit right on target. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. All you have to do is uh, just like the boat we were talking about. We uh, God is stretching us and we will hit right on target. All you have to do is be willing to be used by the Lord in the name of Jesus. We come against uh, every distraction. We come against every weapon uh, of the enemy, every fiery dart. Lord, we thank you that you have raised up a standard against yes. the enemy in the name of Jesus. When the enemy came in like a flood, you raised up a standard. Hallelujah. And we thank 
you, God. We thank you for what you're doing in and through us, God. We thank you that we will have no fear in this season, no fear of lack, no fear of poverty. Oh, yes. God, we will have no fear, no fear of success. We will, we will operate. We will operate. We will operate. We will operate. Sometimes fear causes us to stop. Sometimes fear causes us not to move forward. But we're moving forward in you because we know that we have the comforter. We know that we have the most intelligent being living on the inside of us, which is the Holy Ghost. And we will listen to his voice. We will heed to his calling. We will heed to his direction. We will... Um, uh, we will come and we will listen to what he says to do. We will inquire of him. We will use him. We will understand that he is a person, that he is connected to God and everything that he tells us to do. It is the will of God. Some of you have been doubting, but no, when you are healing, hearing from the Holy Ghost, he does not speak in of himself, but he speaks the will and the word of God. That's why you can hit on target. So we pray, we pray that you will be able to open up your ears and hear clearly. We pray against every distraction that tries to clog your ears or cover your eyes. Don't, don't be fooled by the rain, the storms that come to try to block where you're going. Just keep going. Just keep on track because the Holy Spirit will be your headlights. He will tell you where to go. He will tell you how to move and you will yield in the name of Jesus. We do pray. Hallelujah. And Father God, we thank you for unity tonight, Lord God. Thank you, God. Lord God, we thank you for unity, Lord God, in our bodies, Lord God, unity in our souls and even our spirit, Lord God, the whole man, Lord God. Lord God, we even pray for unity, Lord God, in your body, Lord God, in your church, Lord God. Just as the 120 were together, all together on one accord in expectation, Lord God. Lord God, we join together in expectation, Lord God, waiting to hear the sound. Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, just as on the day of Pentecost, that you fling wide the portals of heaven and that you do it again, Lord God. Refresh us, refill us once again, Lord God. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, Lord God, on this or Sunday morning, Lord God. We wait in expectation, Lord God. We're waiting to receive from you, Lord God. We submit to you, Lord God, that we hear the sound of heaven. We see and we experience, Lord God, once again, Lord God. Lord God, we'll do our part. We yield to you, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for even your patience and your loving kindness toward us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that even when we didn't get it right, Lord God, that you waited on us, Lord God. You didn't give up on us, Lord God, and you give us a chance over and over again, Lord God. But Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we're committed to getting it right yes. this time. We're committed, Lord God. And Lord God, we join together, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for where we are weak, Lord God, that we can even band together as brothers and sisters and help each other along, Lord God. We're grateful, Lord God, for the opportunity, Lord God, for you even calling us for such a time as this, Lord God. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you. We give you all glory and all honors to your name. In Jesus' name. Well, Father, we just thank you tonight. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for every person that's represented here. And God, we pray even tonight, God, that as we prayed, as we've come together on one accord, even as your word declares that when two of us or three of us are gathered together in your name, God, you'd be in the midst and yes. that where two of us would gather together, God, and whatever we would declare, God, being on one accord, God, you'd bring it to pass. So we thank you tonight, God, that as we pray, as that we all seek your face, God, as we, uh, as we, as we launch out into a deeper place with you, oh God, that you would anoint us afresh, oh God, even as uh, Cheryl prayed that you would anoint us afresh, God, with your Holy Spirit. God, cause us to be stronger than we've ever been. Cause yes. us to be more anointed than we've ever been. Cause us to be those, even like with the children, I mean, uh, even like the early apostles, oh, Heavenly Father, that when they just walked by somebody, God, yes. your, your spirit was upon them so strong, God, that people were healed. So, Father, we pray tonight, God, that you would again make us, oh, God, weapons of mass destruction. God, that we could cause, oh, Heavenly Father, hell to be depopulated and yes. for heaven to be populated, God, that yes. we're able to snatch sinners, God, out of the hands, oh, Heavenly Father, of the enemy, 
O yes. God, and bring them into the kingdom, that we would lift you up, O God, that you would be glorified. So, Father, we thank you for these, your sons and your daughters, God, that even upon this scope tonight, God, upon this Facebook Live, God, calls us to be so anointed, God, that everywhere we go, everywhere the sole of our foot tree, God, we possess the land. Everything our hands had touched, it would prosper, God. Even the thoughts of our mind, God, they would be established, God, in the earth, O God, so that we could win, O Heavenly Father, and advance the kingdom of Jesus Christ in the earth. Father, I thank you, Lord God, again, for these, your sons and your daughters, for everything that you've assigned every one of them to do, even as Paul told Timothy, O God, let the anointing that's upon their lives, let it be stirred up, O God. O God, stir up the anointing, stir up the anointing, stir up and stir it up in them, God. Even those, God, who are tired, even those who uh, have become frustrated, God, stir up their gifts, God, stir up their anointings, God, stir up their strength, stir up their wisdom, God. O God, release a fresh anointing, let a fresh wind come upon them. Let this be a season of fresh wind, O God, that you would, that you would, God, not just stir them up, but God, blow upon them, O Heavenly Father. God, that they would be able to stand up and be all that you call for them to be in the name of Jesus, O God. God, your word declares, O God, that when your spirit came upon us, God, it caused us to go throughout the earth, O God, and proclaim your gospel, O God, to preach your gospel, O Heavenly Father, to lay hands upon the sick, God, that they would live, O Heavenly Father. God, to prophesy, God, to cast out demonic principalities, God, that have held your people up, God, and stopped them from being all that you call for them to be. God, we declare that this is the season, God, where we'll come forth. This is our season of prophetic fulfillment. This is our season of leaping. This is our season of joy. God, this is our season of favor, God. Oh, God, even as you stir up our gifts, even as you blow upon us, God, it'll cause us to go forth and be like we've never been before. It'll cause us to be stronger than we've ever been before. This is not the season when we'll be tired, God. This is not the season where we'll give up, God. This is not the season, God, where we'll throw in the towel, but this is the season, oh, God, that we declare it's our suddenly season. It's our season of fulfillment. It is the season, God, where we will do everything that you said that we would do. We would be everything that you said we would be. God, we would accomplish everything, oh God, that you said that we would accomplish because it is the season, oh God, even as it was for the early church, God, that you're causing, God, your spirit to be upon us like it's never been upon us before in the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you, Lord God, that every demonic principality and every assignment from hell that's been assigned to come against us, God, we declare and we render it null and void now. We declare, God, that we're victorious, God. Your word declares that we're more than a conqueror. So, God, we declare, God, that in every situation, every circumstances of our lives, God, we are more than a conqueror, God. We are, we have the exceeding victory, God. There is nothing, God, no weapon that can form against us that can prosper. And every tongue that rises against us, God, we utterly condemn it for this is the heritage of the service of the Lord and our righteousness is of you. And so, God, we stand in your righteousness. We stand in your power. We stand in your authority tonight. We stand in the fruit of your spirit. We stand in the power of your spirit tonight, God. And we declare that, God, again, we will be everything that you said that we're supposed to be and we will do everything that you said that we're supposed to do. God, we will be strong. We will be powerful. We will be anointed. Yes. We will be who you said that yes. we are because it is our suddenly season to yes. come forth and be all that you said that we would be. Father, I decree that upon your sons and your daughters. Yes. And God, we thank you, Lord God, that each one of them, God, even as you did with the children, with, uh, with these, uh, with the early disciples, God, in Acts chapter 2, that they begin to feel that your presence upon them. And God, we declare that this is the season where, God, they're feeling your presence, God, yes. and they're knowing they're empowered with your spirit to do mighty miracles, God, mighty works in the earth, God, because of the anointing that you're releasing upon them now. Father, we declare that every situation and every circumstance that they're praying about tonight, God, that you're causing it, oh, Heavenly Father, to be answered. You're causing prayers to be answered. You're causing miracles to happen, God. God, you're causing things to turn around in their situation, God, because you are the God who can do anything but fail. God, you're the God who can do anything but lie. You're, God, you're the God that there's nothing impossible for. God, so we stand in your authority. We stand and we believe you and we trust you for mighty things, God. We believe, God, that again, you are the God who can do anything but fail. Men and women of God, ladies and gentlemen that are listening, I'm telling you the God that you serve yes. is able to do exceeding God. abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is working in you. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too tough for you because God is in you. And when the Holy Spirit came, it gave you dynamis power. It gave you the ability to work miracles. Amen. Not only did you have the exousia, which is the authority of God, but also you have the power of God. You have like dynamite working inside of you. And so there is no weapon that can form against you that can prosper. Every 
weapon that the enemy sends against you, you utterly have the ability to annihilate it, to destroy it, because you are a weapon of mass destruction. The power of God is working in you. The strength of God is working in you. The favor of God is working in you. Everything about you is victorious. There is nothing in you that fails. There is nothing in you uh, that, that, that can be defeated. Everything about you is victorious. Everything that's about you, your name is victorious. Everything about you is victory. So I want you to go forth today as a weapon of mass destruction and destroy the works of the enemy in the earth. Take the mantle that Jesus Christ released upon you, whatever mantle, whatever dimension of Christ you have, and begin to walk in it and begin to be used of God and begin to move by his power and by his spirit so that others would know that you have been sent by a holy God. You may not have been through the stuff that they've been through. You may not have been through their rabbinical school, but just like the early apostles, you can declare and you can decree. And when you open up your mouth and begin to open up your mouth and decree and declare and be who God called you to be, I'm telling you, miracles are getting ready to happen. Amazing things are getting ready to happen. In Jesus' name, we declare it to be so tonight. Amen? Amen. Amen. You got to open up your mouth and be who God said you were. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And even, even in that, God wants to use your voice. Even as you open up your mouth and begin to come against even word curses that have been spoken over you, that has been spoken even over your family line. Some of you are dealing with some things and you say, God, where in the world did this come from? It was a curse released in the earth over your life. And so God is saying, go into the spirit realm. God is giving you power and authority. God is, that's why God had to deliver you from fear. He had to deliver you yes. from, the, from, from the feelings of rejection of men. It doesn't matter who walked away. It doesn't matter who left. It doesn't matter who didn't believe in you. If one person, God, let me tell you, if God is for you, it doesn't matter who else is against you. But God is saying, use your voice. Use the word that he has given unto you. He's given you his word. And so God is saying, speak forth the word. Go forth in the word. Stand on the word. Decree and declare the word. And God will establish his word. He himself will watch over his word. It is not you. We don't have to watch over the word. We just have to decree and declare it. And then he watches over his word to perform it in the name of Jesus. So God is saying, open up your mouth. Decree and declare the word of God. Decree and declare. Speak it forth. Declare it in, in boldness. It with confidence. Don't be afraid. Don't look at their faces. Don't look at what you see, but look to the things that you don't see because what you see is temporal and it is something that changes at any given moment. But this is the hour in the season that when you God shows you something, you got to speak it. When God says say it, you got to say it. Don't back down. Don't look down. Don't look away, but be strong and be courageous. This is the hour in the season that you got to speak forth the word of God. You got to call sin, sin. You got to, you got to speak what God is saying to you in this hour, in this season, because your life depends upon it. Your generations wow. depend upon it. Other people around you depend upon it because people are being burdened down. They're being in bondage. They're, they're in bondage. They're, 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 they're being not able to walk in their full potential. And so God is saying when you see the attack of the enemy, begin to declare the word of, of the Lord. And as you speak the word, as a sword of the spirit, it's going to cut. It's going to destroy. It's going to overthrow overtake and demolish every assignment of the enemy. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes. Release the fire that's on the inside of you. In Jesus name. Amen. Yes. Fire comes. It comes as a purifier but it certainly comes to destroy. In Jesus name. Hallelujah.
How many people receive that tonight? Jesus. That you are a weapon yes. of mass destruction. You got to receive that. Jesus. You're a weapon of mass destruction. I told you, I was yes. watching that from uh, from Wonder Woman tonight. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a prophetic apostle. So everything that, that I see, I, I receive it. Amen. Yes. Come on. Yes. She was the weapon of mass destruction. Absolutely. She was Absolutely. looking for, some, for the sword or Absolutely. something else to do it. But God said, it's in you. Like you said, it's closer than you know. It's closer it's than in you know. You. And even like with the enemy, as we know, he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And so God is raising us up to go into the kingdom of darkness and to, to steal, to, to kill, and to destroy mm. the works of darkness. Amen. And the assignment of the enemy. God has given you power and authority over all the power of the enemy. He's placed all things under your feet. And he's given you dominion over the works of his hands. You've been seated in heaven heavenly places. My God, the same power that raised Christ from the dead, it dwells on the inside of you. Glory to God. And so that gives you authority. That gives you power. That gives you a, a, the ability to go forth. It gives you the ability to overcome. It gives you the ability to destroy the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus. It gives you the ability to go into the kingdom of darkness and to snatch the souls out that have been bound, that have, that have been uh, misaligned and, and mis- and, 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 and and brought away from their true purpose. It's time to go into the crack house and get the crack addict out. Amen. Yes. It's time to go into the jails. Glory to God because the spirit of the Lord is upon you and he's sending you to open the prison doors mm-hmm. in Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. You know, it goes back to even what I like what she said. If you don't go, who's going to go? Right. Because right. God, God wants to send you. He yes. wants you to open up your mouth. Amen. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He wants you to go. He wants you to be able Jesus. to do it. He wants you to be able to receive it. Amen. Jesus. Somebody said they, because you were prophesying, they want a fearless t shirt. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can yes. go to www.fearlesswomenglobal.org. Yes. And uh, she's got some in stock right now. So if you ordered it, it'll be out Monday. And uh, any of the other products, you can get them at www.lajanavalor.com. So thank you yes. guys for connecting with us. Let me give you a few updates real quick. Uh, before you go, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. If you haven't shared tonight, make sure you share. Um, next weekend, this weekend coming up, we will be the 9th and the 10th. We will be in Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville. You can go to www.trailblazersintl to be able to register for that. And uh, again, uh, www.trailblazersintl, or you can go to our website and you'll see a link on there, www.lejeanandvalora.com, and you can register there for uh, Huntsville. You can also register for uh, the 23rd and 24th. We will be in, um, in Connecticut, amen. We will be in Norwalk, Connecticut, and uh, we'll be in Chicago the 9th of July. And then uh, we will also be in Atlanta. Atlanta is, uh, well, then before Atlanta, we'll be in Trinidad. We'll be in Trinidad the 23rd and the, uh, or 22nd, 23rd of July. And then the 27th through the 29th of July, we'll be in Atlanta. And then the first weekend in August, we will be in, um, we'll be in uh, Perth, Australia. And then the second weekend in August, we will be in Manila, Philippines, and Daewoo City, Philippines. Amen. And uh, yes, we will be at Reset in Chicago. We will be. We will definitely be there. We would not miss it for the world. That's our network. We love our Impact Network, and so we will definitely be there. And um, and then we're going to, uh, I think it's the 15th and 16th of September, we'll be in Denver. And then I think there's, uh, I think it's the, the, I can't remember some of the other ones, but anyway, uh, they'll be on our website. So yes. go to our website to register, yes. www.lejohnandvalor.com. Make sure you go there to register. And so we look forward to seeing you there. Go and register for Norwalk, Atlanta, uh, Perth, uh, uh, the Philippines, register for Huntsville. And uh, we love you. We'll see you soon. We'll talk to you very soon. And uh, we pray blessings upon you. Go and be the weapon of mass destruction that God has called for you to be. Amen. 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 Even your praise will confuse your enemies. Amen. Take the safety (laughs) off that weapon. And fire. Take the safety off. Go get it. I love it. I love it. Yes, 1-844-WE-ARE-COLD. That's our 1-800 number. If you have any problems with any products, 1-844-WE-ARE-COLD. So, again, we love you guys, and we will talk to you. Hey, Tamisha, bless you. Amen. We will yes, talk to you guys. Grateful, you. John, bless you. If you didn't share, make sure you share. Amen. If you did not yes. share, 
make sure make sure you share for us because somebody else needs to hear this message and uh, bless you. Yes, we're gonna do some in Florida. I think in when we're we doing some in Florida, like October. Okay, praise the Lord. How's yes. that? <laughs> fearless, fearless. Okay, praise Him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing. Y'all are amazing. Somebody will watch this later. Well, even on YouTube, you'll watch it, yes. and uh, it will bless them. Amen. We're thankful for No more for warning shots. Woo! No more warning shots. <laughs> That's good. My wife, yes. Laura Cole, yes. myself, LaJean Cole, <laughs> and then we have Nicole Phillip, and we have Cheryl Cross with us tonight, yes. and uh, they have really been a blessing to uh, come and hang out with us. But girl, you're getting strong, huh? <laughs> you prophesied and prayed and preached long tonight, so we... <laughs> We're excited, amen. We're excited, amen. Yeah. Welcome, first time, and thank you so much, <coughs> North Carolina. Yes, we're coming to Charlotte. We're supposed to come to Charlotte twice this year. I think we're coming in November, and I think we're coming in September. Yes, yeah, so we'll be there twice uh, yes. in uh, in this year to Charlotte, amen. Yes, excited. I see the businessman online with us. Hallelujah, Kim KBs. We see you, amen. Bless, amen. You, Bless you. She's so beautiful. Yes. Well, yes, my wife was women's conference. Amen. It's going to be in October. Yep. She's going to have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, we're praying for you. Rain Five Ministries International, yes. my brother. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you guys so much. We yes. believe in you. We believe in you just as God believes in you. And so we're here tonight to let you know we're standing with you. We're praying for you. And I'm excited about all that God has in store for each and every one of you. Amen. We're not going to stop until you get it. <laughs> we're not going to stop. The businessman, don't make me shout. Brooke, I saw you said you got your apartment, girl. We are so happy Woo! for you. Amen. Yeah. Somebody says their first time. It was awesome. Bless you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, praise Amen. God. Thank you, first yes. timer. Yes. Yes. Yes, I know that you love us, uh, 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 Apostle Kaval. I know you love me, man. I love you too. Amen. Yes, he was talking about the products. Make sure you go to our website. You'll see um, uh, it's my suddenly season book with all the decorations. You'll see it's my suddenly season CD. You will also see um, the uh, T-shirt. You'll see the oil, the oil of consecration. You'll see the oil of breakthrough. You'll see the king's anointing oil. Amen. And then not only will you see that, you will see this amazing t-shirt. Here's this t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. Okay. It says, I am fearless on the front. The businessman did that. And then on the back, it says, hear me roar. Hear me roar. You got to get, you can get that at fearlesswomenglobal.org. Then of course, you got the suddenly blue t-shirt with the bling. You see the bling on it? Suddenly bling. All right. Then for the fellas, because I don't want to bling, uh, I see the, the regular Suddenly t-shirt, the blue, okay, and then you're going to see the white now, we got the white, we're going to get a couple more colors, but you can see the white, there we go, okay, alright, hallelujah, I think that's it, oh, and this week we'll be in Huntsville, and we will have our gladiator training camp, it's going to be amazing, somebody said that Pamela Marshall said she got her shirt and oil today, amen, amen. What is our website? Our website is www.lejeanandvalora.com. And then we also have www.fearlessTshirt. Uh, yep. Oh, wow. That's okay. Yep. Inbox me because I want to get that to you. Uh, www.fearlesswomenglobal.org. Y'all see the, the banner back there? Y'all see the big banner for Fearless Women? <laughs> you see my wife on it? It's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Fearless Women Global. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we love you guys. We're getting out of here. We'll talk to y'all soon. Okay. And uh, you guys be blessed. Bless we love you. Bye-bye. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>